Hey there, what's up? My name is Black Light Attack. And this is episode 30 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, made it through the Temple of the Ancients uh, all the way, and we found out uh, in this final room here that uh, Sephiroth plans on summoning the ultimate destructive magic meteor. Uh, and Cloud fucking lost it. Seemed to kind of be with Sephiroth on the whole Black Materia summon meteor thing. And, uh, well, so far we don't know where the Black Materia is, or even what it is, but apparently it's used to summon Meteor. Uh, Cloud's tripping, and then he came back to his senses, and then something fucking happened just now. We found out that Meteor will actually just, like, destroy the planet, and then when the planet is gravely wounded, it'll gather spirit energy to heal the wound, and Sephiroth plans on absorbing all the energy to become something, become a god. And then the Guardian Red Dragon shows up. Yeah, a little bit late for that. Anyway, um, Great Gospel, Eris' final limit break. Let's see it. I was waiting for this. Appeal to the heavens. Angels! Full recovery, and we, be and we get invincible. This is basically just the combination. Of, I, I guess when it comes to healing uh, limit breaks, there's only so many things you can do, but basically, um, I'm, I'm just casting, even though we're invincible right now, I'm casting Big Guard for the Haze. Um, it seems that you can only do, like, so much when it comes to, uh, when it comes to different, uh, healing kind of things. I assume this guy is immune to, to the Demi. Let's go ahead and hit him with a summon. Probably won't appreciate Leviathan. So I guess they decided to just take the whole... Uh, Planet Protector, Invincibility, and the full recovery of the, uh, the status, uh, HP and MP recovery of... Ah, I forget what the, what the other level 3 one is called. It's not Breath of Earth, I don't think. Whatever it is. Anyway, they, they just took them and smashed them together, and that's... That's what we get instead. Instead of anything creative, but anyway, easy boss. We didn't take any damage because of Eris. <laughs> He's not particularly hard anyway. I guess he's uh, kind of difficult if you're speedrunning. He gives you the dragon armlet, which is actually pretty solid. But And we dropped a materia. All right. Good job, everybody. Good job. Any sign of Sephiroth? He disappeared. He got away. Right, so we got the bottom up materia. What's this? Excuse me. What is this? There's something written on it. It's a little 3D model of the, of the Temple of the Ancients. Black. Materia. Oh, Black Materia, okay. <laughs> hey, Black Materia. Yeah, yes, Black Materia. Alright, fucking let's take it then. Grab that Black Materia. Uh, what the hell? Just a, some kind of rumble? Wait a minute, I'll ask. Hello? I don't understand. Well, you're giving me a seizure, so can we hurry it up? What? Really? Yes, really, yes, I'm actually going to seize. They said that the temple itself is the Black Materia. The fuck? So this whole building is the Black Materia? This huge temple, this is the Black Materia? Then no one can take it. Hmm, it's pretty hard. You see, this is a model of the temple. And inside it is a device which gets smaller every time you solve a puzzle. As the model becomes smaller, you become smaller too. Until it's small enough to, pit, uh, to fit in the palm of your hand. So if we solve the puzzles, the black material will get smaller and smaller, and we can take it out. Yes, but there's one thing. You can only answer the puzzles inside the temple. So anyone who solves the puzzle will be crushed by the temple. I see. So the ancients didn't want dangerous magic to be taken out of the temple so easily. Yeah, it's fucked up. Guess the stuff is dangerous. Guess stuff this dangerous is best left alone. Well, yeah, I'd say so. But Sephiroth is having other plans. No, we got to think of a way to get it out. Because Sephiroth has a lot of different flunkies. It's nothing to but throw away their lives to get the Black Materia. This place isn't safe. Yeah, it's true. He's got all those clones who will do whatever he says. But how do we do So we got it. Basically what happens is we solve puzzles on this little hologram thing. And as we solve puzzles, uh, the Materia... Uh, the, the entire temple is the Black Materia. Uh, the Black Materia was expanded and enchanted to become an entire temple. As you solve the puzzles, the... Uh, from inside, the temple gets smaller and smaller until it crushes the person inside, so you actually have to sacrifice a human life in order to get, well, an intelligent life. There's a lot of non-human species that are intelligent in this, but in order to get the black materia. So, so what are we going to do? 
Hmm, this is a puzzler. We're not throwing Red 13 just because he's not human. Can't just throw him at it. <clears throat> well. Hi, Cloud. This is Katesith. I overheard the whole story. Did what he have is bugged? Don't forget about me. Everything you said makes perfect sense. You can use my stuffed body to save the uh, for the future of the planet. Kind of threw that saved in there. We can't let Sephiroth get his hands on the Black Materia, and we can't let the Shinra get theirs on it either. But Cloud, there's really nothing else you can do. Everyone, please trust me. I guess we have no choice. Alrighty then, leave it all to me. Please hurry, you've got to get out of here. I'll be waiting at the exit. Oh boy. Alright, so Kate Sith has, has a solution. Since Kate Sith is actually a robot, and is being controlled by the Shinra employee, uh, who is, is yet to be named. Um, he, he is offering to sacrifice his, uh, his stuffed body. Uh, sort of a, a quick solution we found to the problem we were having earlier. Um, you know, we were like, ah, shit, how do we get it out? And then, hey, we just so happen to have a character who isn't real. <laughs> we, we happen to have a fortune-telling robot. So, we're just gonna go ahead and chuck him at the Black Materia. And, uh, he's always replaceable because he's just, he's a fucking robot, who cares? Who gives a shit, right? And as we do this, we're actually gonna find out a little bit, uh, something or other about Kate Seath himself. Hey, what's going on? Yum yum. Let's go ahead and rest again, and this is probably a good time to save, just in case. Because, spoiler warning, there's another boss coming up. I don't want to die. But, uh... I highly doubt I'm going to die on this boss, but this is the, actually this boss coming up. The dragon's not very hard, but this boss coming up is one of the hardest in the game. Up uh, probably, probably no matter what method you're doing this game through, this is going to be the hardest boss you come across at this point in the game. I actually got stuck on him when I was younger quite a few times, but anyway, oh, it's a big ass heartbeat. That can't be good. But is there something living in the ceiling? It's warm. This isn't good. Ah, shit. Oh, my God. Cloud, behind you. Ah, fuck. This is a cool boss. I always love the concept of this boss. This is this is Demon's Gate. He's, he's, he's a wall. He's a fucking wall monster. He's awesome. Anyway, I cast the big guard. Oh, it deals a lot of damage. Oh, that hurts. That deals a lot. And I don't think we're really going to have... Uh, he'll probably die, honestly, before Sid... Uh, well, I'm sorry, Eris gets her limit break. If Eris gets her limit break, it's it's a free win. It's just a win. We, we just automatically win. Um, I wonder if he, I think he's immune to slow, but anyway. He can deal... He, the thing that makes him hard is he can just deal a lot of party damage. Now, me, I think I'm overleveled and enemy skilled up enough to just handle this kind of problem. Uh, especially because we got the Sid limit break coming up. We have to, we can throw a Meteor Rain at him with Cloud, but... <laughs> I like how we, could, we didn't even get to see... Uh, Sid's so limit break, but he can just he can deal really heavy single target damage, but then he can also spread a lot of party damage around. So um, he also tends to do two two attacks in a row, and if he does the uh, the little like rock drop thing, and he hits the, he decides just RNG to hit the same, same character twice in a row, he can end up just knocking out a character in one turn, and uh, you know then you're scrambling to uh, scrambling to revive them and all that. It's just you know. And that Demon Rush, that did a decent amount even though we're barriered, so that's, that's what I'm talking about with the uh, full party damage, so really, I, I would say, I guess, my uh, my suggestion is to just keep everybody topped off as best you can, keep up the old, uh, keep up the old big guard, because that'll really come in handy, and uh, just hit them with whatever you got. That's not really the best advice, I guess, but... If you're uh, if you're really having trouble at this point in the game, it might be in your best interest to uh, set up shop somewhere where one of those those little dudes. Ah, crap! Why did I attack with Ares again? Um, set up shop near one of them little dudes. Okay, so he's immune to that. There's one of those little uh, little HP restore guys, the little guys uh, that guard the temple. Set up shop near one of them. Grind out some levels near them, and if if, uh, if that doesn't do it, then you're fucked because. <laughs> That what really makes this guy hard is that you can't leave the temple to like go collect, you know, better spells or anything. You're stuck in the temple until you complete it. <laughs> so, if you're not high enough level, you're gonna have to grind within the temple in order to get out of there. So, interesting. But we are getting some levels on the old materia. Hey, it's Gatesit. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's me. I'll handle the rest. Spinny, spinny. Well, everyone, take care of yourselves. 
Aw, Kate Sith. Buddy. Come on, Cloud, say something. Um, I'm not good at this. Mm, I understand, I feel the same too. We're best friends, even though you kidnapped Barrett's daughter. Why don't you read our fortunes? Say, that's right, I haven't done it in a while, hmm. I'm so excited, right or wrong, I'm still the same old me. Now, what should I predict? Hmm, hmm. Hmm, let's see how compatible Cloud and I are. That'll cost you exactly one date. Here I go. Well, what? I, I guess it's a joke that Eris pays for things with dates. What are they calling her a whore? This isn't good. I can't say it. Poor Tifa. Eh? Was that? No, tell me. I promise I won't get mad. Is somebody gonna die? Is that so? Then I'll tell you. Looks good. You're perfect for each other. Eris is star and Cloud star. They they show a great fortune. Cloud, I'll be your matchmaker, preacher. I'll do whatever you want me to do. You just call me when it all happens. Do, 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 do. Oh, and he gets all serious for a second. Thank you for believing in me, knowing I was a spy. This is the final, final farewell. And uh, here's one of those times where I'm just going to shut up and uh, and let you guys enjoy the cutscene. Because this, this part's a little bit touching. <laughs> be strong, Kate Sith. That part is actually really sad because you you have this like deus ex machina thing, right? You're like, oh, we have a robot on our team. We can just sacrifice him to save the planet. It's just some guy controlling it. But then Kate Sith goes into goes in to do it, and he tells you, don't forget me. Even if another Kate Sith comes along, there's only one me. And then and that's when you realize that Kate Sith is a little bit more complicated than just a robot and a guy controlling him. He's uh, Kate Sith is running some sort of AI or something. Um, where Kate Sith is actually an individual. Kate Sith is actually a, a, a personality unto himself. Um, he's, he's able to be replicated, but um, I guess you could almost compare him to like one of the robots from Futurama, where like dying to them isn't really that big a deal, but they, they still have a consciousness and an existence uh, uh, unique to their own. That's the way I think about it. Um, it just so, so happens that he is also able to be overridden and controlled by uh by the guy at shinra hq so you know whenever the the guy at shinra hq is like you know obviously he can't be monitoring kate sith 24 7 so whenever he needs to go take a dump or whatever kate sith can just run automatically on his own and then when it's time to get down to business that's when shinra guy takes over so it's just interesting so kate sith sacrificed himself for the black materia and he actually did sacrifice himself it wasn't just a just any old Kate Sith. It, it wasn't just any old robot stuffed toy. It was it was that was Kate Sith. So I'm gonna have a smoke out here. Ah, it's really something having a smoke in a place like this. <laughs> Sid, Sid cares nothing cares about nothing but refined places in which to smoke. But anyway, as long as we have this, Sephiroth won't be able to use Meteor. All right, we got the black materia. Hmm. Oh, you came down too, Eris. You want to make out? Can you guys use it? Nope, we can't use it right now. You need great spiritual power to use it. 
Why would we want to use it? You mean lots of spiritual energy? That's right. One person's power alone won't do it. Somewhere special, where there's plenty of the planet's energy. Oh yeah, the promised land. The promised land! Everybody say it, Sid, you too. Promised land! No, but Sephiroth is, di is different. He's not an ancient. So we can't find it then. He can't find the promised land, right? Ah, but I have. Ah, oh, shit! Get him, Sid! Get him! I'm far superior to the ancients. I became a traveler of the life stream and gained the knowledge and wisdom of the ancients. I also gained the knowledge and wisdom of those after the extinction of the ancients. And soon I will create the future. I won't let you do it. The future isn't only yours. Ha ha ha. I wonder. I can't do that laugh, man. I can't do the sensor laugh. Wake up! He keeps saying that. Get him, Sid. Ah, Sid, you missed chance. Shut up! Noise. What the fuck? Little spirit cloud standing above cloud. There, cloud. Good boy. Cloud's freaking the fuck out again. And his spirit is standing outside of his body. What? No! Oh, oh, I'm controlling this guy. Uh, this is like, this is Kid Cloud. Don't be afraid. Just get away. No! Don't do it. No! No! Gave the black material. Fuck! Gave the black material. What the fuck is going on? What the? Well, I know. You guys don't. Well done. Some of you guys don't, I should say. But what? Just what the hell is happening? Cloud is losing his fucking mind. Cloud, are you alright? I gave the black material to Sephiroth? What did I do? Tell me, Eris. Cloud, be strong, okay? What have I done? Balls. Cloud, you haven't done anything. It's not your fault. I'm... Oh, shit. Hey, hey! And then he just starts beating the shit out of Eris. That is what... It, it's kind of hard to see, but that's what's happening right now. Cloud is now beating the shit out of Eris. This is this is not a good thing happening. Oops, this looks like I came at a bad time. I'm Kate Sith number two. Right pleased to meet y'all. So we did get a, repla a, a replacement Kate Sith, but, uh, you know, he is, he is for all intents and purposes the same, but there, let's never forget, as far as number one goes, there was only one number one. Cloud, what the hell are you doing? Uh, while I'm explaining this, I'm just allowing Cloud to beat the shit out of Eris. Everything is white. What did I do? I don't remember anything. My memory. Since when? If everything is a dream, don't wake me. What does that mean? What, is, what does that even mean? Man, that sucked. Shit got heavy real quick. Cloud just beat the shit out of Eris. Cloud, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry for what happened. Don't worry about it. I can't help it. Oh. We were getting along so well, too. Then why don't you really worry about it? And let me handle Sephiroth. So she's saying, Cloud, you have some issues. Maybe you should work on work on them while I go chase after Sephiroth myself. And Cloud, you take care of yourself. Peek. So you don't have a breakdown, okay? So this is obviously a dream. If you can't tell. But what the hell is Aerith, Aer, uh, Aerith telling Cloud? I read too much of the novellas. I keep calling her Aerith. What is this place? This forest leads to the City of the Ancients, and it's called the Sleeping Forest. It's only a matter of time before Sephiroth uses Meteor. That's why I'm going to protect it. Only a survivor of the Setra, like me, can do it. Come back! The secret is just up here. At least it should be. I feel it. It feels like I'm being led by something. Then I'll be going now. I'll come back when it's all over. Eris? No! We were just gonna bang or something! You and me were about to be boyfriend girlfriend. Come back, my waifu. It's one of those dreams where you feel like you're running in water, you can't move. Except instead of running from something, you're trying to chase someone. Hmm, she's thinking of interfering. She will be a difficult one, don't you think? You fucking dick nose. This is all your fault. I was going to get my dick wet. We must stop that girl soon. 
What's this wee bullshit? Uh oh, is Cloud not telling us something? Is Cloud going cray cray? Is he in in league with Sephiroth? Well, obviously not, because he hates Sephiroth, but. You look like you was having a nightmare. How are you feeling? Not good. I beat the shit out of my girlfriend. Oh, better keep it to yourself. Oh, thanks, Barrett. You know, Cloud, Eris is gone. Everyone's out looking for Eris. Fuck. City of the Ancients. Eris is headed there. By yourself? Why don't you go by yourself? Hey, we're going too. Only the Ancients. Only Eris can save us from Meteor. Then we must go. What if... That's just a weird way of phrasing it for some reason. What do we do if something happens to Eris? If Sephiroth finds her, she's in trouble. Yeah, you mean she's dead. Sephiroth already knows. Hey, why are you still sitting around? Let's go, Cloud. No. I might lose it again. If Sephiroth comes near me, I might... Yeah, goddammit, it's because of you that Sephiroth got the black material in the first place. It's your damn fault. My fault? Wow, Barrett, you're really good at consoling people. I know you got problems. Hell, we all do. But you don't even understand yourself. But you gotta understand that there ain't no getting off of this train we on till we get to the end of the line. <laughs> That's him misappropriating uh, Cloud's quote from the beginning of the game again. Cloud, we came this far. Aren't you going to... S we came this far. My fucking inflections are terrible. Aren't you going to settle up with Sephiroth? No, I'm afraid. If this keeps up, I may go crazy. I'm afraid. Just a damn jackass. That's what you are. Yo, just think about it. How many people in this world do you think really understand themselves? People get depressed in life because they don't know what's up. But they go on living. They don't just run away. Isn't that how it is? You know all the right things to say, Barrett, except you don't at all. Cloud, you'll come with us, right? I believe in you. Well, thanks for that vouch of confidence, but I just was mind-controlled into handing over the black material to Sephiroth so that he can destroy the world, and then I beat the shit out of Eris, who then ran away. I'm pretty sure she's mad. Pull out? To where? I never pull out. Cloud. Wait a minute, Tifa. Give him a little time. He has to decide this on his own. You believe in Cloud, right? Okay, so Barrett actually does have a little bit of wisdom there. Um, he realizes that if Cloud doesn't make up his mind for himself, he's, he's it's not ever going to be uh, really solved. But I'm afraid to find out the truth, but why? So... Something's up with Cloud, and Cloud doesn't really fully understand what it is. Sephiroth seems to have some sort of degree of control over him that uh, that he's never exercised before, really. But just just now did, when things were really important. Cloud. Hey, how are you? I just want to know, which is it going to be? You want to find out about yourself? Are you afraid to find out, fool? Either way, you stay around here, and, that's about all, and, then, and about all you can do is worry about it, sucker. Even if you do go nuts again when you see Sephiroth, if it happens, it happens. I'll go upside your spiky white head and bring you back to normal. Fool! <laughs> I love that line. I'll go upside your spiky white head. I fucking love Barrett. Cloud, it'll be alright. We're all with you. But if it happens, it happens. Don't worry about it. Fool. You're right. He's right, isn't he? Come on, let's go and find Eris. Okay, so shit went down ladies and gentlemen in that past episode in, in this this episode just now things really went down okay on the plus side we have we have a new kate sith um and like i said for all intents and purposes he's exactly the same as he ever was but um we ended up waking up in gongaga eris is missing um when cloud came to eris had gone off on her own uh to stop sephiroth from using the black materia and for some reason uh, she seems to be the. She seems to think that she is the only one who can stop Sephiroth. Uh, kind of weird, if you ask me. But uh, anyway, so I guess I want to use. I kind of want to use Kate Sith now that Eris is out of the party, and I do believe. Did Eris have my eating coat? Ah, oh, shit! Did she keep my eating coat? You bitch! Did somebody else have it? Now, Eris was the only one in the party. Damn it. God damn it, Eris. Alright, well. She does actually uh, take off her accessory and all of her her uh, materia, so that's useful at least. <sighs> Get a the sleepy side. We need to end this soon. Anyway, we uh, picked up from 
uh, from Demon's Gate, the Gygus Armlet, which is a solid armlet all around, but it unfortunately doesn't have any materia growth, so I'm not really keen on using it. And the Dragon Armlet is much better. It's got good defense all around, it's got the magic defense, but it doesn't matter. And the, uh, it, it protects you from fire, cold, and lightning, which is great. Uh, so I guess we'll take that. We can do up our materia later on. Uh, for now, I'm basically just going to park myself outside, excuse me, of, uh, of the gold saucer, and well, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to take the tiny Bronco first. I'm going to go park myself outside the gold saucer, and we're going to get ready to uh, grind out some of that there, uh, limit break, the final limit break for Cloud, and I can do, actually do a .5 episode. Uh, it's going to be a long time from when I'm recording this, but you guys are actually going to see this episode a long time from when I'm recording it, so... Don't you worry your pretty little heads about it, so... Maybe I'll stream some of that while I'm doing it. It's gonna be a lot of grinding and stuff, but... Um... The reason you should do it now... The... The argument to doing it now... The, uh, the whole... Omni Slash, uh, Battle Square thing... The argument towards it is... It's cheaper at this point in the game. Uh, it takes less BP... In order to get the, uh, the Omni Slash manual... And same goes for the championship belt. I, I believe the championship belt and Omni Slash are both still available later in the game after uh, disc two. It's either disc two or after you get the airship. I can't remember which which uh, point marker it is, what which which time period it is. But basically, um, if you do it earlier on, it's going to take you less time because it's cheaper and the battles are easier. And uh, you, like I said, you you don't need to earn as much battle points and and. Earning a lot of battle points is tough. It's tough, man, because you have to do it all in one sitting, and that, that can be a little bit trying. So, you can do it now. Now, on top of that, getting the championship belt is going to be stronger for you at this point in the game because you're lower level, and therefore the, st the stat bonuses are a bit more, uh, a bit more significant. And <clears throat> if you want to do it really early in the game, you can get both the sprint shoes. Somebody in the comment section pointed out that you can get both the sprint shoes and the championship belt really early in the game. Actually, right after you get in the buggy, you can turn right back around and go back into Battle Square, and there are even easier battles to fight. And it takes a while, but if you get it at that point in the game with these uh, the really easy battles, even though you can't get Omni Slash at that point, the championship belt and the, and the sprint shoes are really useful accessories to have at that point in the game. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for episode 30. Thank you guys for watching. Some significant shit happened. Eris is gone. We're gonna have to chase after her soon. I know exactly where to go. She's headed north towards the City of the Ancients, but for now, we're gonna go for, forget our woes of our girlfriend leaving us after we beat the living shit out of her under my control of an evil psychopath with superpowers by gambling on our own lives in gladiatorial arenas, arena battles to the death. And all of a sudden, this game got a whole lot less relatable. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you next time. Goodbye.